just thank the Chicago group for inviting me in. Uh, Tom and I's goal is uh, to, to attend each chapter maybe once a year. So this is a wonderful privilege for me. Can't wait for you to see Tom. He's an amazing guy. You guys would just totally fall in love with him and his passion for success. You know, in running the largest real estate company in the world, over 140,000 salespeople in over 70 different countries, you've got to think a little different. I mean, how many, how many people on the planet run the largest real estate company in the world? Not, not very many people, and it's been such a wonderful blessing, and so much of what we'll be sharing here today is a result of his, his mentoring in, in my life. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the discovery, and we're, we'll come back, and it's kind of like a movie where you go through the movie, and then you do you know, the backstory to it. That's what we're going to be doing today. And so we're going to jump right over to page 12. Page 12. Because I believe that an understanding of one's life vision, your purpose, you know, on this planet, is key to everything you and I do. It helps us to have context. It helps us to understand things. It helps us when we're discouraged and frustrated and we feel like giving up to keep going, when really tough and difficult times come on us, which they all do at some point in our life, what keeps us going? How do we take those really difficult situations in life and turn them from negative, and how do we turn them into to positive energy? And so I think this is probably the most important thing that an individual could do in their life is to discover their life vision. Now, I was given a, a gift. There's nothing that you know I work for. It wasn't anything that you know was purposely put in my life. I remember my story is that when I was at camp, um, Camp Fairwood in Wisconsin, eight years old. I'm at the canteen. You know, I'm having some you know treats, and all of a sudden I'm looking up at the sky and. I don't know, it's like, uh, you know, being raised the way I was raised, I'm a pastor's kid, and so I jokingly say God's never spoken to me in a vision or audibly, because if he had, I wouldn't have believed him, because I was raised very conservative, and, you know, God doesn't do that kind of stuff. That's how I was raised, but God had this conversation with me, and he said, you know, Mark, you're kind of an average to below average kind of kid, and I'm like, I, I get that, God. <laughs> I, okay, I get that, that's true. And he said, I mean, he said, if you're a good steward of what I give you in life, you're going to reach the whole world. Like, I mean, you know, think back when you were eight. I mean, imagine you're eight years old, you're at camp, you're just hanging out with friends and having a good time, and all of a sudden this hits you like a ton of brick, and you're just like, okay. You're like, at eight years old, you don't understand. You don't understand what that really means. At least I didn't. I'm like, okay, cool. I guess, I guess if that's what it is, that's what it is. Let's do it. And it took over 30 years for me to discover the secret for helping other people discover their life vision. I believe every single person on the planet, all seven plus billion people, have a very distinct purpose for their, for their life. I think once people discover that, and then the beauty of it is integrating it, it's absolutely amazing. So seven billion, that's a pretty big goal. I mean, a lot of people, but what do you do with goals? Break them down into smaller bite-sized pieces. My wife and I, we've been blessed with coming up to our 30-year anniversary. We have seven children. We have um, three boys and four girls. Our youngest is 12. Our oldest is 25. I have a, our oldest has been uh, married for three years. We have an 18-month-old grandson, and she's pregnant again with another grandson. So I'm a grandfather. It's pretty cool to be a grandfather, to be able to say, you know, here's the next generation. And so seven, how many continents are there? Seven. Seven continents. Each one of our kids have a continent. We have a plan. Let me tell you, my wife and I, we sat down and said, okay, how are we going to be able to reach the whole world? And so every one of our kids have a continent, actually. And so when we, look, when we have that, it's very, very powerful. And as an example of some of the tough things in, in life, um, you know, Katrina, uh, our 19-year-old, she's right over here, and she's, she's our middle. She's the middle of seven, and she's given me permission to be able to share this. When she was 15, 
she went through a really difficult time. Our family went through a very difficult time, and, and she tried to commit suicide. And when, you know, when that happens to your family, I mean, that's very, very traumatic. I mean, that, that hurts a lot. As a dad you, and a mom, you wonder, you know, did I mess up? I mean, what's going on here? But it almost like it healed almost instantly because of the life vision. Because I understood now another dimension of her. I understood how other families, I understood uh, death and difficulties and depression and a whole bunch of things that, at a whole new level that I could have never understood. And it gave me tremendous compassion for other people. And so whatever difficulties you've gone through, you know, or going through, when you understand your life vision, let me tell you, it gives purpose, it gives intentionality, it gives power, it gives energy. People will often uh, say, you know, Mark, you got a lot of energy. Why is that? Well, if you're going to reach 7 billion people, you better have a lot of energy. You better be really coachable. You better be really teachable. And so this is over 30 years of work and research and trying to figure out. It's very simple. So what you do is the first exercise we're going to do is you just, on page 12, you just start listing out the things that you're passionate about. I don't care what it is. It can be golf. It can be chocolate. It can be anything that you're, any of your life passions that you have, you want to just start jotting those down. Discovering our life vision seems to be something that's hard. I mean, that's like, well, how do I go about doing that? But our passions, those are much easier. You know, I'm passionate about golf. I'm passionate about helping people. I'm passionate about business. I'm passionate about, you know, uh, reading. I'm passionate about, you know, what are all the different passions that we have? In the center of all of our passions, I believe, is the secret to our life vision. Our passions reveal our life vision. And so I encourage you all to go ahead and get a real nice, um, you know, hardbound journal. Okay, this is one from last year. And this is, um, and you guys are all free. You can, you know, go through this at any time. It'll be sitting up here. And so these are, you know, these are the different things that, that I've learned. And so these are all the different things that are in the journal that, kind of go through, and I go ahead and say, hmm, how does, how does life work? I mean, you know, this is kind of an interesting one. This is talking about, this is right here is actually what, um, um, what Einstein was talking about as the next dimension. And it's going through and saying, how do we go through and understand how to move to new dimensions? So at the front of every one of my journals, thank you, at the front of every, any, every one of my journals, I go ahead and rewrite, here's all my passions, and then here's my life vision. Every journal has this in it. And then right over here, this is something new that I've done in the last couple journals. It's the diamond relationship model. And I draw a diamond. And then what I do is I list out the different things in relationships, the type of people I am looking to attract into my life. These are the individuals that I'm going to help them reach their life vision, and they're going to help me reach my life vision. You combine these with this, and it's absolutely crazy insane on what it will do for your life. Um, real quick story before we go through the exercise. Um, probably about 10 or 11 years ago, um, one of my peers, um, who owns his own company, uh, he went ahead and sold his company for $35 million about 10 years ago. And I thought, I don't think I'd ever sell my company because it's so much a part of, it's like one of my kids, you know, I, you know it's, it's so much a part of my life vision. Where, so I don't, I don't know that I'd ever sell it. But I, at that time, I don't know that I could sell it for $35 million. I should be able to do that. I'm like, how come, how come he was able to do it and I wasn't? And after doing some research and looking at it, I said it's because of his network. He has a better network than I do. So I said, hmm. 
And I'm not the, uh, definitely not the best natural networker in the world. I love people, but I'm kind of an introvert, you know. Um, and so I, I, I love people, I just don't like to be around them. I mean, I love, <laughs> to, be around, I, I love to be around you guys, but people in general kind of, you know, I don't know, that's a little, a little tough. Um, but I said, what I need is I need a, a network. I need to figure out how to network at a higher level. And that's how I was introduced to Tom. I went ahead and knew a Century 21 agent. I said, hey, Lance, <laughs> um, you don't happen to know the president of Century 21. Well, I, I met him once in an event. Does that count? I'm like, that counts. I said, do you have his email? And he said, um, he said, yeah, I actually do. I said, would you mind sending him an email? And he said, no. He says, tell me what to say. Do you ever want to... Um, connect with very high level people. How many of you would like the secret to connect with very high level people? Can I see your hand? All right. Here's the secret. I'm telling you this is what it'll, it'll almost work every single time. You ask them a question and if they answer that's a really good question, then they're interested in connecting with you. And any CEO of any worldwide company, any high level individual, that has a lot of networks, you want to bring them more value. And how do you bring them more value than they can bring you? Because everybody's after them for their network, for their money, for their influence, for their power, whatever. You don't need any of that. You really don't. You just need to help them. If you help them, then they will help you. Because that's how they got where they're at, is by helping a lot of people. You don't have to worry about, well, I'm going to help. You know, I'm never worried. Well, let's see, I'm going to help Tom. I wonder if he's going to be able to help me enough. I've never been concerned about that, ever. Because high-level people always will give more than what they get. Always. Because that's how they got to high level. So I went ahead and um, wrote an email for Lance to send to Tom. And it said, and something to the effect of, um, you know, Mr. Koontz, I've met you once at an event. Ran into a friend of mine, and he's, a, he's an international speaker and author. And he was wondering if you had authored a book or if you were ever interested in writing a book. Do you know that 30% of the world's population wants to write their own book? And so most want to, they just don't. And almost every president of every large organization in the world either has written a book or wants to write a book or somebody of people around them want them to write a book. And so he sent this email off. It took quite a bit of work, but a year later, he and I got on the phone. He has a great story on this. Um, I'll leave that for him to share, but he got on the phone and I said, you know, Tom, it's great to meet you. I knew that I only had literally seconds. He said, you know, you'd mentioned about me being interested in writing a book. Actually, Mark, I don't even write a good memo, so I don't know that I could ever write a book. I said, you know, Tom, we've got this phenomenal system that it only takes actually seven weeks to go through the process. You don't need to write anything. All we do is meet with you half an hour once a week and uh, we go, you know, we'll write the book for you. He's like, oh, that's interesting. That seems too good to be true. I said, well, it is what it is. He said, okay, I'll do it. And now, seven years later, um, he and I are very close friends. I actually talked to him this morning. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to meet him because he's just really down to earth, but very, very powerful in understanding how to leverage uh, situations, networks, and systems together as well.